Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the newest features in the latest update to App Inventor. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate some of the really cool features that have come out. Obviously the first and foremost is uh, the numbers only and the um, icon change capability. Very cool features from uh, the App Inventor team. I'll uh, show you how I did this. This is an application from my upcoming book, a project that uh, uh, can be built. Uh, it had a graphic with it um, already, kind of a, a giant red button. We're, we're looking at Photoshop here. Uh, basically this was about a 200 by uh, 500 graphic and I used the resize image to break that down bring it down to uh, 50 pixels high and 40 pixels wide making sure I uh, constrained the ratio of the proportions uh, and I used bicubic uh, for a good sharp uh, breakdown you see on the blow up it doesn't look real great but it looks good enough in the small for an icon um, so that gives me a tiny little uh, graphic that I can use as an icon I go to the screen one, select the icon, um, and then I can uh, upload that icon. And you see here uh, is my tiny little icon for my Android down application. I upload that. Um, and then um, that goes along with the package. And when you go over to the emulator, you see here's my Android down application with a shortcut. And uh, you can also see in the um, applications drawer that it has its own uh, icon as well. Uh, the other really cool thing, and this is something I want to make sure and demonstrate for kind of new users and old users who may have been frustrated. Uh, we used to have to do all of this uh, uh, scrolling around and uh, trying to manage our uh, uh, blocks. The organize all, collapse all, and expand all blocks now can go a long, while, long ways uh, to helping you quickly uh, organize your programming blocks. Um, for most things that you would want to do, you could do collapse all blocks, organize all blocks, and all your uh, blocks end up here on the left side of the screen. And you can drag out one set of blocks, work on them, um, collapse them, put them back. Now the really cool thing about all of this is the fact that uh, these block positions here will be remembered from session to session. What that means is I can put all of my procedures together. I can put all my variables together. I can have this first uh, workspace area uh, be my filing cabinet if you will and then I can grab um, uh, all my event handlers here, put them together, uh, take a particular event handler, drag it over here to the right side of the screen uh, at workspace and work on this. Uh, when I'm done with it, take it and take it back to the filing cabinet if you will, the storage area for all of my components. This is very cool. Um, you know, there have been a lot of requests for stuff like folders, etc., in organizing your blocks. You can do that just by following uh, some procedures as you work on your blocks. Keep all of your collapse blocks over here, and also we have the expand all blocks. That looks messy until you do organize all the blocks. Uh, you can collapse all the blocks, organize them, and have them right back over here. Uh, but the really cool thing is the ability to sort them out into variables and procedures and events uh, in this first screen, uh, this first workspace I should say, uh, and then have them stay that way. When I close this um, blocks editor um, and then reopen the blocks editor, uh, they'll all come back in the same place. The other really cool thing that was given to us in this update is that uh, numbers only. We see here in my application, I'm going to let the blocks that are start, in my application uh, there is a field for uh, people to enter an emergency contact number and an emergency SMS will be sent to this emergency contact number. Uh, that was just a text field before, uh, which allowed people to uh, enter a number that would be saved. 
However, you could enter QWERTY, you know, QWERT in uh, QWERTY in that rather in that um, in that field, selecting the numbers only on a checks a text box takes that from a text box uh, to a numbers only box, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like here. We're going to connect to the emulator. So we've connected to the emulator. And here is that uh, emergency contact, and you see in the number bar a 1, 2. That lets me know that that is a numbers only. Only numbers are available in the pop-up keyboard. And if I try to enter text, it won't let me enter text. It will only allow me to enter numbers, a really cool feature as well. So in summary, um, we have the ability to upload an icon now. That icon needs to be about 50 pixels by 50 pixels. We have the ability to uh, change a text box to a numbers only box. And perhaps um, even bigger than both of those really cool things is this ability. As you can see, I reopened my blocks editor and it has remembered all of the positions of my blocks. I can have little stacks then of events, variables, pro, uh, procedures, etc. Very cool. Uh, good luck guys with this new update and have fun inventing.